Entertainment Weekly coverage coming to you from Comic Con. I'm Jessica Shaw here with Team Exorcist season two premiering September 29th on Fox. So season two, we've got Marcus and Tomas seem to be like on a road trip when they hear about a certain foster home run by a child psychologist and things don't seem to be going so normally. So tell us what happened. You know more than us. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Did someone write that down? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Very good. Well, tell us what's, what exactly is going on. Silence. Dead silence. <laughs> um, uh, I, I think this season you're going to see an, an evolution of the partnership between Marcus and Tomas. Um, uh, they're on the road together. Uh, Tomas has kind of left his old life behind and, and has is becoming an exorcist and Marcus is training him. And at the same time, you have... A, a, a foster home on an island on the outskirts of Seattle, run by um, run by John Cho. Brianna is one of the kids in that home, um, and something bad is happening on the island. And, and and at some point, our stories are going to converge. Yeah, I bet they are. Uh, and and how but, how do the fathers, uh, work one father and one former, uh, find <laughs> out about this? Um, I Marcus is doing the whole job, and there is that connection also with the father so Bennett here. There's he's our informant in a certain way. Right. Father <laughs> Bennett is like hanging in the Vatican now, right? Like sort of weeding out the non-believers. Yeah, he's digging up stuff. He's digging up stuff. Yeah, uh -huh. trying to see if there are factions, who's with him, who's not, mm -hmm. what's going on, how deep does it go, and whether he wants to stick around and you know and fight this thing or you know. And of course, because of the exorcist, some of it links up um, on a very kind of physical level, and some of it. Lots of it on a supernatural level. Mm -hmm. So all stories intertwine at some point. Yes, they do. How what? How scary is this season versus last season? If last season gave you a nightmare, <laughs> let's just say. I think this season we're trying a, a, a bunch of different types of horror. You know, I think we have the psychological horror that was brilliant last season, mm -hmm. but we're trying some other types too. You know, we have the body horror, which was great last season. Uh, but we're trying to evolve that to different types to do uh, some frenetic paced horror that you know that's new to this season we start right off at the top of our first episode with that and and have sort of a very fast-paced two episode two-parter to start us off yeah. and we got some cabin in the woods horror some creepy forest horror some cute kids in peril horror um, <laughs> some stuff that we didn't get to get to play with last year mm -hmm. so hopefully some brand new scares brianna are you one of these kids in peril <laughs> uh that's a great question <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, the thing is, with, with the, she, she will definitely be in peril. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of peril. We're, we're playing this season with the, uh, last season they did a little bit with two of the characters about which one's possessed. Now we have five children uh, in mm -hmm. this home and we get a really play for the first half of the season, which, which, which one of these is our demon and which is possessed and, and how it's happening. Or, or which, which one is the demon is possessing, sorry. So, yeah. you know, how do you could physically be you? prepare for that? Um, you know, I just practice, uh, cold pressed juices. Yeah, yeah, I just practice being really stressed. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's pretty easy for me to practice being stressed. It's just like my daily life. Mm -hmm. so. You seem very serene right now. I don't believe yeah. you. <laughs> well, we have you to know. jump out of closets on set to scare Right. Her. Does anything creepy ever go on on your set? No. But no, didn't, no, fortunately, didn't, no. Didn't, or didn't somebody know. get hit by a TV? Like, Oh, oh yes, yeah. that wasn't that creepy though, was it? That was terrible. <laughs> that sounds pretty creepy. What happened? Got hit by TV. Yeah, like a TV uh, our director of photography, our director of photography, oh, had a yeah, camera yeah, fall on his head. Yeah, or, yeah. or a TV. It's TV. Yeah. It fell off the wall. Yeah, you know, because we didn't bless that set. <laughs> we, we we have bride and priest to bless the sound stages, so nothing bad has happened there. But any time we go off the sound stages, uh, accidents. Wait, did you falls. really? Of course. Yeah. Yes. You really did. We really did. You're not messing with me. <laughs> you did. We did last year. We haven't. We have not blessed any sets this year. But, Why uh, did you not bless the set this year? How yeah, first, are, how scared are you guys we now? We need to. We need hands. to get them in the right headspace. Yeah, the first, day set, uh, the first day on set. The first day on set, a priest came and he blessed like all of the the whole stage and. He sprinkled holy water. That's right. Was he being was sarcastic? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. The holy water didn't hurt me. How did you find this priest to do it? Like, were you like Google? eBay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's an app. There's an app, right, exactly. The Exorcist app. 
Um, when the whole season is, you know, presumably pretty damn scary, do you try and just kind of ratchet it up for Halloween or? Not we, we we don't we're, we're not trying to plan for Halloween. I mean, mm -hmm. we, luckily we end up in that area, but we're more trying to give us you know some different types of scares early on, but then build and build and build to the end, the last two episodes for the for the biggest stuff, which will happen after Halloween. Um, John, I'm very intrigued by your character, mm -hmm. who's a child psychologist. You're being um, eerily quiet right now during this oh, wow. interview, Am I, so it's eerie? leading me to believe that you um, this character maybe has there's something else going on. Are you just like a, like there, a good guy psychologist or? Well, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure there will be things that you do not currently know that you will know at the end of the Whoa. season. And that I will know as well. And we will coexist in that knowledge at the end of the season. You are a master of answering without spoiling. I am a master of answering without spoiling. <laughs> Just saying things. How hard kids. is it to keep it a secret? You know where where things end up because I'm sure it's like you know you guys are like don't say anything about. We honestly yeah. don't know. Yeah. We we like, don't know. We have like minimal storyline. We can't say anything. Mm -hmm. Nothing we know. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, last year we had kind of our giant twist and reveal that that. Gina Davis was actually playing Reagan McNeil, and right. it was kind of a stealth sequel to to the film. Uh, <laughs> Spoiler! Read the script, which Daniels. Uh, which shows? I thought this was Orville. Um, was yeah, we we don't we're, we're not <laughs> kind of basing our now. season around a big similar twist this year. It, it's more about the characters and it's more about the storytelling. Mm -hmm. We do have some fun twists coming up, but but luckily we don't have to come in and kind of lie the way that we did last year at Comic Con, where we just. Every interview was was like, no, no, there's no connection. Mm -hmm. Random right. characters. Um, we don't luckily don't have a, a giant twist like that to preserve. It's just a bunch of smaller fun twists. Have you lied to me yet today? Probably. <laughs> John is the only one that hasn't lied. To you. Right, exactly. John. Or maybe he's the only one that has lied to you. Uh. Oh. Um, and have you planned season three yet? Like, do you have in your mind going on, hmm, and this is the story we would tell for three? We have. We've oh, no. Okay, all right. Yeah, we're Are you guys on the road trip next year? We've had some meetings, yeah. yeah. It's like this hobby, like, to write our own and see, see how well it aligns with the actual right. script. Like, I love it. All right. Usually we just go with yours, too, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, Exorcist, so congratulations in advance on season two premiere. September 29th at 9 on Fox, and we will be back with more coverage from Comic-Con.